Okay, here's a video on dimensional analysis, and this is using conversion factors in a table in order to convert between different units. So I have a couple problems here we're going to go through, and there are, some of these are multiple steps. And so this should give you a good idea of how to use this information in a chart to be able to solve a problem like this. One way you can do it is using a graphic organizer to help you with organizing your information. So you're going to make a chart sort of like this, a grid. You can look at the problem and see what you're given. In this case, I'm given 100 yards, and it says how many centimeters are in 100 yards. So what you want to do is start with that 100 yards, and you're going to put it over here on the upper left-hand corner. So I have 100 yards, and I'm going to try to convert that to centimeters. So I'm looking for centimeters. So according to my conversion factors over here, I don't have a direct conversion from yards to centimeters, so I'm going to have to do a couple steps. So let's see what I can do next. I have yards, and I can go to feet, and then from feet I can go to inches, and then from inches I can go to centimeters. So I think that's what I'm going to do. The first step here would be then to take one yard equals three feet and figure out where to put it here. You're going to do this so that you're canceling out the units. And what you're looking at here is basically a large fraction. This is the numerator on top and the denominator on the bottom. So what I want on the bottom here is going to be yards so that I can cancel out yards. So I'm going to put one yard here for every three feet. Now I'm left with feet. So if I cancel out these units as I go, I have feet is left over at this point. Yards have been canceled out. So now I'm going to try to get rid of the feet and go to inches, and then from inches to centimeters. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take my conversion of one foot is 12 inches. I'm going to put the one foot down here to get rid of feet and put 12 inches on the top. Now if I cross off those units, I have feet are canceling out. And let's see what I can do. My final step then would be to take this conversion factor right here. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. And I can use that to get rid of inches. I can put my one inch here, my 2.54 centimeters at the top. And then that will cancel out inches. And I'm going to be left with centimeters, which is what I'm trying to find. So if I erase this a little bit here, and we figure that out. Let's see what we have. So we have 100 times 3 times 12 times 2.54. And you're going to take the product of the numerator divided by the product of the denominator. In this case, the denominator is just 1. So all I really have to do is take 100 times 3 times 12 times 2.54. And then that will give me the answer I need. So I'm going to get the calculator out here, and we're going to do that. We're going to take 100 times 3 times 12 times 2.4 equals. So that gives me an answer of 9,144 9, centimeters. And that will be my final answer. So now we've converted all the way from yards to centimeters. Let's do one more example here. And in this case, I'm going to do a 5K race is how many feet? Well, if you look over here, 5K, when you hear that term, that's 5 kilometers. And we want to figure out how many feet would that equal. I don't have a direct conversion over here on my conversion factor table. So I'm going to have to do this in a couple steps. So again, I'm going to set up a grid. And I don't really know how beforehand how many steps it's going to take me, so I'll just leave some space over here. And I know that, based on how we did the last one, we always want to start with the information we're given right here, 5 kilometers. That's from this part right here. How can I go from kilometers to feet? Well, I can go from kilometers to meters, and then meters to centimeters, centimeters to inches, and then inches the feet. So it's a few steps, but I can do it with information that's available here. So if this was the only information you had and you weren't sure how to how how anything was related to each other, you'd need to rely on this information and do multiple steps. So that's what we're going to take you through as an example. So I have five kilometers, and I'm going to first change it to meters. So let's put meters on the bottom over here, thousand meters, 
No, I want to put that actually on the top. I'm going to put one kilometer here because I want to get rid of the kilometers. Put thousand meters here. So that cancels out the kilometers. So you want to keep canceling out the units just like we've been doing. So now I need to have meters on the bottom over here. I know I need something with meters here. And I have one meter equals 100 centimeters. So I'm going to put one down here to 100 centimeters. And then I'm going to put centimeters on the bottom next. For centimeters on the bottom, I know that I have 2.54 centimeters for every inch. So I'm going to put one inch up here for every 2.54 centimeters. And then I can go from inches to feet. It's my last step. So it would be 12 inches on the bottom for every one foot. Okay, I'm going to move this over a little bit. Okay, so now I have to multiply across the top, get a product, and then divide that by the product of the denominator. So let's see, at the top we're going to have the 5 times 1,000 times 100. So in the top I'm going to have 5 with five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so 500,000 on the top, and on the bottom I have 2.54 times 12. Let's see what that would be. 2.54 times 12 equals 30.48. 30.48. Okay, so now I have to take 500,000 divided by 30.48. Let's try that. 500,000 divided by 30.48 equals, now I have an answer of, equals, put that up there again, 1,000, no, I'm sorry, 16,404. 16,404. 16,404 feet. And I have my final answer there then. To double check and make sure that I have the units I need, I'm going to go back and, again, you can check by canceling these out. Meters cancels out, centimeters cancels out, inches cancel out, and I'm left with feet. Now I know that's what I'm looking for over here at the final step. So I hope this little example helps when you're trying to work through this dimensional analysis, work through conversion factors, and um, converting those difficult units. Thanks for watching.